All right, back down here in the Chiefs pit with the Petty brothers, Timmy, and Mark, and Richie. You think of the Petties through the years, first thing comes to mind is Plymouth or, or Dodge. But uh, that, that, was, that was good years for the Petties. Won a lot of races and championships there. But uh, 1957 was probably one of Lee's first big deals, wasn't it? And had signed a big contract to run a, a multi car operation with Oldsmobile. So we go back to Oldsmobile in the 50s. That was a big deal for Lee, wasn't it? Yes, uh, but I'm, I'm going to go back one year. How about that? Uh, air compressor kicks in. That means we're really working. <laughs> but anyway, I was going to tell you that he had a deal with Dodge in 55 and 56, maybe late 54. Yeah. And the significant part about the Oldsmobile jumping ahead, I know back and forth, but in 54, the Chrysler had 331 cubic inches. And this is something that, uh, the King and I had a conversation about. It sounds like a movie, don't it? The King and I. But anyway, the Dodge didn't have but 270 some. So they campaigned two years. Basically, you know, cubic inches, they, they got rules for a reason in this deal, right? Right. But anyway, so they so switched up. No they, substitute for cubic inches. That, John Coble quote, right? Right, amen. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, very true. Well, all I was going to say is when they signed on Oldsmobile, and I'm not sure when that happened, but fit, like you said, 1957, I'm not arguing that date. Well, he has the contract. And, and <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say about that is Oldsmobile, I'm pretty sure they started out life at a, as 370 some cubic inches. So they made 100 cubic inch jump from 56 to 57 according to my calculations okay right but the the oldsmobile rocket that was a that was a big engine that they were pushing right for their but yeah. i mean there's already more cubic inches in right. the previous right. two right. years with right. the dodge deal well, yeah but this was a big deal for lee because it's going to be a multi-car operation he signed the contract on the eighth day of december 1956 and uh coming into the year going to Daytona he had Tiny Line and, the, and Bill Lutz they were going to be three cars down there he's going to run convertibles and hardtops so those are Oldsmobile factory drivers right at that okay. time and I believe at the point there Tiny run up till May in 57 and I think and I have to go check this out but there's that story of Tiny Lun and, and grandfather and grandmother and daddy and Richard all getting into a fight. So they had a falling out that year. <laughs> yeah, okay, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So as that went on, uh, I think come back in May, Ralph Earnhardt, he became the driver of the 188, the Oldsmobile. So he ran for about seven or eight races. But all this was tied in together. And uh, Tiny and Bill Lutz, they, they started the season out as the drivers would leave. And that was just a one-year deal? Well, it wasn't him a whole year. I got a. I guess they went on there and they run out of money because here's a letter dated May 29th, 1957, telling Lee that uh, the, the Oldsmobile stock car racing activity was going to end on June the 8th, 1957. Wow. So, it's a, and if you go back and look at the records, he ran up until June there with two cars and then he went to a one car operation. Wow, so, yeah, that's that's pretty sober because he ended up running two more years with those. Well, off and on, and then like yeah. in '59, he was back to Plymouth again. Right. Some way well, and, and we found you found all this stuff here in later years. Right, it'd have been neat to, oh, have, to, to have been able to ask yeah. Grandfather yeah. You know, some of these. He told you, well, yeah, yeah, I guarantee. Now, you. '58, um, Richard run his first race in Oldsmobile at Columbia, South Carolina, Pop Red and. Dale and Richard all went down there and they ran their first race. Now, was it a convertible? It was a convertible series, so it wasn't a hard top. And uh, Richard, I guess, uh, had just turned 21, and then Daddy and Lee went to another race, and Richard went down there to Columbia and run that race. But that was a convertible. So, anyway. I was uh, going to say one thing. I'm, I'm, yeah. That was July the 12th, 1958. <laughs> another wow. cool thing about Oldsmobile, and I found this out later by working on one of them motors but um that j2 right yeah it, but a lot of things that you always want to do to a small block chevrolet Oldsmobile was already doing mm -hmm. in the 50s 
Is that right? Yeah, the firing order. Remember, we tried that seven three mm -hmm. swap that time, and plus it was involved routing the header pipes different and all that. But Oldsmobile already had that firing order. You can look at their intake manifold. Like I said, I, I remember looking at that, just going, "Wow, what an eye opener!" Now here was a neat thing I ran across, and if you look in the contract, they was going to supply cars because back then it was stock cars, so you had right. actual real road cars, but they had to. Uh, sign off on it. So he had to buy the cars from Oldsmobile, but the, in the contract, he had to buy them for a dollar. And then here's a check that he bought from Oldsmobile, a car for a dollar. So that's kind of cool. And then I guess the other thing was, uh, oh, <laughs> there's so much here. I mean, we ain't gonna get to it all. You have, we ain't gonna get to it. But we were talking. We thought that Richard won his first race in an Oldsmobile, but that was not the fact. He won his race, but he was flagged a winner. But Lee, yeah, but he but he was uh, Lee protested it because Lee had went to a, a fifty nine Plymouth at the time, and uh, I mean a fifty eight Plymouth. Which or what year was that? Fifty seven. That'd be late. Fifty nine. Yeah, yeah. fifty nine. He was flagged a winner at Lakewood, Georgia, and Lee protested because he'd make more money with a current year car instead of Richard in the fifty seven. I never knew that because yeah. that 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 was even a rule. Yeah. Well, well it was just. It was how, much, of, how much how much money different was it? I don't. I'd have to look it up, but it was, it was quite. Every dollar counted. Yeah. Plus no, the, I was just gonna say, how much would that check for one dollar be worth in the day? Oh, I don't know. But let's go back to '57. He had Bill Lutz, Tiny Line, Johnny Dotson run for him, and Ralph Earnhardt, and the Myers. Uh, Billy Myers ran for him a few races there in 57. So he had a bunch of people coming in. Billy there. or Bobby? It was Bobby. Billy. Billy. Was it? Bobby, Bobby was later. Right. This is later. Yeah, okay. This, this is, yeah, this is there's, the, there's a lot of stuff happening. He had a lot of them. No, no, no. He, 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 had, know, he, had, he had them all. But, uh, but like, yeah. like we've said on the show before, as we oh, go learning. through that stuff, we learn as we go too. It's, yeah. But see, yeah, Billy Myers, right here, I got it right down. He won in a petty car in Wilkesboro. A 58. And then, like you said, Bobby Myers, he ran for him in the hard tops and was killed down there in, in Darlington. Which is Chocolate's was, daddy. Right. So, you know, it's, it's some good and bad here, but uh, it's just part of the whole deal. But then we get into 59, because I was talking about that race with Richard being flagged a winner and then Lee protesting. The grandfather went to Daytona in 59 in an Oldsmobile and won the Daytona 500, the inaugural Daytona 500. And how many years later, 20 59. and 79, the, the King won the 79 with those. Oh, yep. yeah. So. 20 years later. Oh, it's, uh, you, like I said, you think of Plymouth and Dodge, but there's a lot of Oldsmobiles in between, ain't it? What was the old Oldsmobile slogan? This is not your father's Oldsmobile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then, no, it wasn't, for sure. Right? And then Richard, in his the first Daytona 500, a man won seven of them, but his first start, he ran an Oldsmobile convertible. So that's uh, was that fifty nine? Fifty nine, yeah. So that's quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff through the years. It's just but, kind of funny us talking about stuff in the fifties. Yeah. And oh yeah. Uh, but I mean, he, he he digs this stuff up. You learn. Well, I mean, it's just it's just neat. I mean, like I said, I was looking through, and I guess like I said, Ralph Earnhardt in fifty seven run for him, and had like eight starts. But then we come across some old checks and stuff of different guys that ran during that year. Oh yeah. Got Richard and Bill Lutz and so, but here's a check from Ralph Earnhardt, May the sixth, nineteen fifty seven, and I believe I had it wrote down here that he ran uh, okay. he ran eleventh on the May the fifth. How much was that check for, Mark? <laughs> oh, I, I ain't got my glasses. I'll on. have to look. Uh, Ninety ninety five dollars. Mm. <laughs> Didn't he make a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's a bunch of money. Oh, I know. That's buy groceries for sure. Yeah. Well, and then, like I said, Richard, he uh, he started his career out in the Oldsmobile and had some success, and, and so did Lee. So, anything else about the, the rocket engine you want to talk about? Nope. I, <laughs> I want to go back to uh, right, our go conversation ahead. we had last week. After further investigation, we're up to 30-plus for the February race. Oh, okay. And not to mention... Uncle Julie's bunch down there winning a lot of races with Bob Welburn. So yeah, yeah. We, I, I don't know the numbers there. We'd have, yeah. we we got to do some more now, study. Now, now, Grandfather, run he ran the Oldsmobile Convertible in 58 down there for the beach course runs. He didn't win it. He ran second. But he was actually running the Oldsmobiles in 58. Yeah, I see some pictures. Of his old elbows is up in that thing. 
And I believe that picture right there, that was 58 that he took all them Oldsmobiles down there. He had the modified. And that modified about. had Oldsmobile motor in it, right? Didn't it? So yeah. we've talked about that a few. The well, 37 that's that, Chevrolet. That's that J2 yeah. that you mm-hmm. rebuilt, right? Yeah, but see, they, they immediately, well, I know about it, or think I know about it. Um, as soon as they seen that triple carburetor, you know, it was immediately nixed for a NASCAR for the um, Grand National or the convertible, you had to run a single carb. So you, and I, I don't know if they run the three carbs on the modified or not. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. Have to do some. Somebody might want to tell us about but, that because that, I don't know. That, that that convertible Oldsmobile that Richard run would have had that same engine in it. You're talking about, but probably just for just single one single car, carbs. Okay. I was looking here. I had we'll to, to ask him that sometime. I mean, he will know. That picture yeah, right there, yeah. uh, that's got the three carbs on it. Yeah, that's a hard top. But it's like he's standing there arguing with him right there. Yeah. Why can't I run it? <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I guarantee you it's something to do with that. Well, that was a that was a successful season in 57. And then There's uh, a picture online uh, of right along that same time, and you're looking at the back of all these cars sitting there, and I guess they're getting ready to qualify. And about five of them had Lee Petty Engineering right. ran them in North Carolina on the back, you know, on the bumpers. Or, now, 79, Richard won his six Daytona in an Oldsmobile, like you said earlier. But they didn't run the Oldsmobiles, but on the big tracks because the Chevrolet. For the aero right. dynamics. But they run the Chevrolet on the short tracks and mid, mid tracks. But the Oldsmobile was just for Talladega and Daytona, right? Yeah, they. Uh, well, some people still run the Monte Carlo. Right. And but I'm saying Petty's. Yeah. 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 And then, like, uh, I don't know if you ever run Monte Carlo at the, with, with, in those years or not. I don't know. We have to go back and look. But I do know the last, or not the last one. The 80. last. Did you run one in yeah, 80? 80? It 80. wasn't the Oldsmobile in 80, was it? Yeah, it was a, yeah they run the big tracks. 79 and 80. Right. Okay. But, and then 81 you know, come back Buddy with Buddy Baker won in the Great okay. Ghost right. 442 Oldsmobile. Yeah. And then it came back with a Buick. It was a record there. setting 500. Yeah. It's been 80. Yeah. Yeah. And during this time, like I said, we, we've talked about this, and I know people get tired of us. Uh, talking about it but the 57 season he'd made such a good contract with money and he needed all these drivers and that's when tiny lund came in that's when pop red came on the scene because he was able to hire a chief mechanic and that was red myler right that was the year he came yeah 57 hmm. and i got to i thought, it's, I thought he I might got some earlier but well, i'm pretty right. i'm pretty sure it was that that's the records i can find but like here's the thing when they went down to daytona for the for the week here and Bill Lutz, <coughs> Maurice Petty, Richard Petty, Tiny Lund, Lee Petty, and Don Bailey, they all drove a car down there. And this is Lee's handwritten notes where he paid all, everybody off. So that's his expense report for the week for 57 of February. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, sure it is. Yeah. So well, that's about to fade away. It I is. A lot of stuff's going away. Well, there's a little bit of history for us and we got a lot more to learn and I man there's so much here I could go on for another hour but it um, it's just it's just mind-boggling to me of all the as how far racing's come and this is one of the bigger deals that one of the first deals they started I'm you trying know. to remember what uh, did tiny go away like before May well the I, didn't, you, I thought it would have drove longer than that well or, yeah but know. I'm telling you that's yeah but they had a disagreement right yeah, they had a, I know I, I'm just thinking I wonder what he did after just just out of curiosity I don't know I have to go back because he was you know he, he run for a lot of people right. over but, years but at, at that point I've seen in the record books that was that was when he had parted ways and I'm not sure when the fight started or what date that was but it was in that time period because he was running he was on a limited engagement after that <laughs> but I believe the argument now we've opened it up I believe the argument was Tiny was working for Lee, was a mechanic driver, and what had happened was Tiny thought he should get a percentage of the wins or the winnings from the uh, from the purse. And I think grandfather said, No, I'm already paying you a salary, so you don't get your percentage. Well, after that last race, Tiny went to the pay window and got the money. And Lee was like, no, that's my money. And so they got into an argument, and then everybody got in on it. Wow. I think the fight ended with grandmother taking her pocketbook and popping uh, Tiny in the head. And then they said that uh, the quote from Tiny was, when you take on one of them, you got to take them all. <laughs> yeah, but that gun, it probably took every one of them to handle Oh, yeah, he was. He, was a, he was a giant. He, he was. <laughs> he was. But they, they made up after oh, that. I mean, it wasn't low. Well, I, mean, I was reading in a book. They were friends later on. Wanda, right? his, his, his widow, she is in a book, and she had said that she got a, uh, the tiny had got along with Richard Morris until the end there, until he died in, in uh, Talladega there. 
but he always had a rough spot with Lee. <laughs> so Boy, they, they never made up. That, so. There's a long line of them, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna leave that one. Yep. Either way, he uh, he, he he did what he had to do to feed his family. <laughs> No, no doubt. No. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up right there because that's. I think we got into a little bit more than we thought we was going to get into, but, but that'll work out. So uh, like and subscribe. Keep tuning in, and we appreciate you.